the way I like to shop. In the cool. I don't have to get out. I just pull up and shop. And wait on her to shop. It's dinner time at the Comet's house. We sitting at Belk's our strawberry muffin done run out. We sitting at Belk and Mama in there. You can see it right up there behind that tree. We sitting in Belk, Mama in there trying to spend her ten dollar. She looking, they got some kind of big sale going on. They got some big kind of sale going on every day of the week. But she's in there looking. And I'm sitting down here. And I'm cooking dinner. We got a little roadkill and some stuff we gonna put together. I'll show you what we got going. Oh, uh, what I'm fixing for dinner is this here. Green bean casserole, you've seen me fix it before. Cream of mushroom soup, French style green beans, French style onion rings. Heat the beans and soup, uh, soup together in a saucepan. <coughs> Bring it to a bowl, add about half your French onions and then top it off when you get through with that. I'm fixing to fry this Spam and some cornbread. We'll get back with you with that in just a minute. I'm gonna show you how to fix up this cornbread that we are gonna fry. You just take your cornmeal, put you about a half a cup I said a half cup. That's a red solo cup. That'll make that'll make about enough cornbread, me and mama, for a meal. Maybe a little over half cup. Not quite three quarters, but almost. And that's just plain meal now. So you have to salt it. You got to have your salt salt it a little bit. Now, I ain't like Rachel Ray. Mama has to clean up after me, and she gets mad if I throw salt on the floor. So I don't throw salt on the floor. You can tell Rachel Ray don't clean up after herself. She wouldn't be throwing all that salt on the floor if she did. You taste the pinch of it. See if you got it salty enough. If you ain't, you add you a little more salt. If you got it too salty, you add you a little more meal. That's about right. And you take your buttermilk and give it a shake. Pour you some in there and stir it a little bit. Mix it up real good. You want it wet and where it holds together. You don't want it soupy where it runs. About like making mud pies. Now you have to stir down real good on the bottom of these solo cup. Get it mixed up. Or it'll be dry in the bottom. So we all set to go, except for a little frying. We'll fry, we'll fry up when Mama gets back. We're gonna fry this spam up, cut it up in little slices, fry it up, fry this cornbread up. Got green bean casserole and some turnip greens. We're gonna see what we got in a little while. I decided to. Add a little yellow rice. I got some Dixie Lily yellow rice here. I'm gonna make a pot of yellow rice to go with our meal today to have a little bit extra and a 
different flavor and different taste. We got yellow rice we're gonna have with our spam cornbread, turnip greens, and green bean casserole. That yellow rice said bring your water to boil out a tablespoon of butter. If you'll notice in the earlier video I talked about things you didn't have to refrigerate. There's my butter sitting out in my butter dish. I love my butter dish, baby dog. Got me? Give me about a tablespoon of that soft butter. Put it in that water. And we good to go. Now that butter don't stay out but about two or three days. I eat it that quick. And we use real butter. We don't use the fake stuff. We got our water getting ready to boil. When it boils, we'll pour that rice in it, turn it down, put that lid on, and let it cook a few minutes. Get you about a spoonful of that cornmeal on your hand. Roll it around, make a good patty out of it, and get it together. Mash it out flat. Drop it in there in your grease. You're frying, you're frying your uh, spam in the same grease. And I about got it done. Come over here. Come over here. There's my green bean casserole. There's my yellow rice. There's my roadkill turnip greens that I fixed the other day. And we got cornbread and spam to go with it. I'll show you it plated up in just a minute. Now, if you want some quick, easy fixed meals, this here yellow rice. Several people make this kind of rice. I just happened to pick up this here Dixie Lily. And rice aroni makes a quick meal that's edible. And they come in a box and they're cheap. They cheap. They make a quick meal for an RV. And there it is, all plated up. There's turnip greens, yellow rice. Green bean casserole, fried spam, and fried cornbread. You go with your turnip greens. That's what it looks like. Mama buy, bought us some of them little old bitty divider plates right there. And them are the handiest things when you're moving and you ain't got everything out and your table's all cluttered up with stuff you're hauling and stuff. You take that plate right there and eat out of it just like you at a fifth Sunday meeting. Best thing in the world she bought. I'm fitting to give her her plate. And let her enjoy it. Y'all have a good This is day. something we don't normally do on film, but we're going to do it on film today. Lord, we thank you for your blessings that you give us. Thank you for keeping us safe in the storm, Lord, not letting anything happen to us. We love you and thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for this food, Lord, that you give to us every day. Lord, bless it our bodies, our bodies you service. Most importantly, Lord, let us be ready to go when you come or call for us, Lord, and we're looking for you to come. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Now, them ain't dirty dishes in the sink there. That's the way we travel. We take our portable stuff we keep sitting around on the counter, stick it in the sink where it don't fall. Yeah, I just reached in there in that sink and snatched out my homemade pepper sauce. I'm fit to put it on them turnips and mustard. I like pepper sauce on mine. So that's homemade pepper sauce. We feed the doctor them turnip greens and mustard up with a little bit of that. JC Penny is going to sit down here. Like an extra 25% off a coupon. These are rich there you colors go. and cozy Maybe you can see it. Enjoy this meal. Jeans, time to stock up on Levi's. Hey, what I didn't sample that green bean casserole. That's a buffalo flatbread. It just tastes like you at Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. Oh, hiding, huh? It's the good. Buffalo chicken papadilla, tangy buffalo sauce, grilled chicken, and melted cheese. You don't want to go good with that? Just six bucks. Some cranberry sauce. I got some cranberry sauce in the refrigerator. I'm finna get me some cranberry sauce. It's good. Are you okay? You cook, eat just like you do at home when you live in one of these things. This is home. Well, you may not want it. You may not care. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about pepper sauce and give you a quick lesson about pepper sauce. Tell you how I do pepper sauce. Yeah, I used to grow peppers and everything, but now I just go down to the 
Winn Dixie, Publix, wherever they got some peppers. Give me a few jalapeno, a few bell peppers, a few whatever, and sometimes even put onion in it. That I had today was all uh, jalapeno peppers. I get jalapeno if I want it a little warm. Banana peppers, one all. Some uh, cayenne peppers and cut them up. Put them and stuff them in them jars. And then I take me some vinegar. And put it in sugar. Put some sugar over in it and bring it to a bowl. Melt that sugar. And then pour it over that pepper in that jar. I stuff them peppers in jars. And pour that hot vinegar and sugar. Now you can't get it too sweet. You, and some people don't like it with sugar. I like a little sugar in mine. So I, I'll sugar mine up a little bit. And uh, pour it over them peppers. Close up with them there uh, cannon jar lids. And that hot, that hot vinegar suck that lid down and make it where it lasts a long time. And that's the way I make pepper sauce. And I'll tell you another trick I do. When I'm off and I'm running short of pepper sauce and I got them peppers, I'll take uh, some vinegar and put it in a pot and put my little sugar in it, bring it to a bowl and pour over them old peppers. That works for a good quick fix for some uh, pepper sauce if you want it. Go on your turnips and collards or uh, cabbage or whatever you eat it on. That's the way I do pepper sauce. I'm glad I made this journey with you. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.